launch there from Kevin Erickson. Great launch from Jimmy Hansen. Keep an eye out for Eaton, who's ducking for the inside line. Grosic and in versus Shushu side by side. Erickson versus Timmy down to the first corner. Kevin Erickson with the inside line. Timmy on the outside. He's jumping out wide. Here comes Grosic and in on the inside and through into third position ahead of the Hungarian driver. Out of turn one, down towards turn two. We go look at the spray, look at the standing water. Pick your breaking point, boys, and get it slowed down this side, will we? Through there we go, and Kevin Erickson leads the way. Shushu runs it a bit wide through turn two. He's going to lose out here to Eaton as well. So this is huge drama early doors. Eaton goes through, nearly tries to go through, but Shushu does hold the line and still holds on to fourth. Yeah, Chuchu there actually uh, touched the barrier on the inside of the corner, so maybe locking the brakes up a tiny bit and not, not having full control under the brakes and made him run a bit wide there. But uh, out in front, Kevin Erickson, he's uh, the only one who's not got the wipers fully on here. He's in the box seat, he's got the best visibility. Oh, and Eaton's come to a stop at the first corner. I think there was a bit of contact there. Ronnie Searock trying to push around as well. And, well, Eaton made it through to the semi-finals. Doesn't look like if it stays as it is, that she'll make it through to the final. But, as we saw yesterday in the final for round 11, anything can happen. Yeah, certainly. And uh, with weather conditions like this, you can just guarantee it will. I've just spotted Kevin Erickson is missing a windscreen wiper, and that is on his driver's side. So he's going to have uh, limited visibility. Although he's the, the driver out in front, uh, he's still going to have that water spray on his car, so that's not going to help him. But he has definitely got to hope that nobody uh, gets in front of him. Of course, he wants to win the race, but if uh, if Timmy was to, to leapfrog in front of him, then he wouldn't even have a wiper to be able to clear the mud off his screen. And that is why Dan Rook works so well as a spotter <laughs> in uh, days gone by. But you can see that Kevin Erickson trying to defend that line from Timmy Hansen. They're taking such a tight line in towards turn two. Look at the standing water on track. It's almost a river it's going to be. He's got though through the right hander. He's going to try and set something up into the penultimate corner. But Kevin Erickson firmly shuts the door and doesn't allow him to get back past. Yeah, so Kevin uh, wise to that one, wasn't he? You could see Timmy was making the lunge probably in his mirrors and just shot him off. Uh, I'm sure he felt a little bit of a tap there as well. I think Timmy may have run the barriers. Kevin Erickson almost comes to a stop in the first corner, but a uh, little tap from Timmy actually helped him get around the corner. That hindered Timmy and uh, Kevin actually able to pull a little bit of a gap out of the corner now. Well, if you want drama, this is the place to go. Don't forget, of course, double points in the final as well. It's all to play for in the title. And at the moment, it's second row. Semi-final two, but this could be uh, very crucial in terms of how things go for the final round of Titans RX. Through into the final corner we go once more to start the penultimate lap here. It's Kevin Erickson still leading the way, a face full of spray and dirt for Timmy Hansen, but is he going to try and invent something down to that first corner? He thinks better of him, but Kevin seems to be really struggling with the exit out of turn one there, Dan. Yeah, not quite able to get the drive. I'm not sure if maybe he's got a bit of wheel spin or maybe the, even the other way around, trying to kill the wheel spin too much and uh, bogging the car down. But it certainly seems like Timmy is the, the man with the pace. But just look at his car. It is absolutely caked in mud. I'm surprised when he can take his car. This is absolutely huge. Jerome Grosic, he had an answer for Timmy earlier on in this race, but seems to have just dropped back by a few more car lengths. Kevin Erickson still defends that line down into that penultimate corner, not allowing that opportunity for uh, Timmy Hansen to take profit, but through onto the final lap we go. He's got less than a kilometre now from home, separating Kevin Erickson from victory in semi-final one. Just to remind you, this is his first ever weekend in Titans RX. He's very experienced, of course, on the international stages of uh, Rallycross, but it's his first time in a Pantera, and he is doing great things out there to be beating the regulars such as Timmy and Jerome. Yeah, Timmy's got so much experience in this car, hasn't he? And uh, for Kevin to, to be able to put it to him, it's, uh, it's an incredible job by the, by the young sweep. Through to the left and then the right, I think Timmy has uh, made some kind of a mistake in that second uh, corner there because Kevin's just pulled out a few more car lengths. One more corner to go there from home for the Swedish driver. Through it we go now, and Kevin Eriksson takes victory in semi-final one. Timmy Hansen finishes in second. Jerome Grosjean in, comes home in third position and secures his place in the final. Over the line comes Shushu in fourth, 6.8 seconds down. Ronnie Searock will be fifth, and Abby Eaton after that drama. Talk us through that race and the weather conditions. Yeah, I, I barely saw a thing inside the car, so the only way for me to stay on track basically was to keep on, on Kevin's bumper. So uh, I, I had to fight hard. I, I, of course I tried to pass as well because in the lead you have a good vision. But uh, in the last lap I, I lost a few meters and it was hard to drive without his reference. So I dropped back a little bit. Uh, it's very tricky conditions. 
And there's a lot um, here at stake with the obviously series the standings and winning the whole series. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, obviously Kevin has quite a good lead. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm also I'm also in the running. We'll see how Semi 2 goes now because they're my two main rivals uh, are driving. Cheering for Kevin, of course. I uh, hope he has a safe race. Uh, yeah. But let's see how it goes. Hope mainly hope that it's fair, good rally girls out there. Yeah, I totally agree. Thank you very much for talking to us.